Similarly, when we check for the student's perception, you find that most of the students survey, they give the rating such as the mean score actually significantly different from the middle point four. Based on this value, we can imply that the students actually have favorable perception in terms of the use of ICT in student supervisor communication. Let us compare their perception in terms of the demography. Here again you find that there is not much of difference. Simply we can conclude that most postgraduate students, they do have good perception as far as the use of ICT in student supervisor communication is concerned. Similar interpretation also can be made for the supervisor's perception. Now, when we relate this to the previous slides, we find that as far as the basic Microsoft Office applications are concerned, both students and supervisors show high competence. But when come to other softwares which are more important for supervision work, you find that there is a gap in their competency. Here, there is a gap and when come to their perception, they are going for it, which means the people are actually ready as far as their opinions are concerned. But what is lacking here is actually the competency level on certain elements. This is where I think the institution of higher learning needs to be carefully strategize some initiative to close the gap, which I'm going to discuss under the discussion. <clears throat> okay, my point here is we have seen the gap and this data will give us some convincing evidence that both supervisors and supervisees are actually going for this ICT communication in their supervision work. How shall we capitalize on this so-called readiness? I believe that in order to capitalize on the ICT capabilities, the positive attitude of supervisors and students regarding the use of ICT need to be enhanced capitalize, make use of effectively by the university in terms of providing appropriate bridges to the literacy gap and create a more conducive environment that will foster the use of ICT more extensively. Among the initiatives that can be considered by institutions are trainings, proper communication scheduling, enhancing ICT infrastructure and facilities, creating awareness on use of ICT and other things to name a few. I did also present it in the full paper in terms of uh, students and supervisors comfort using some of the open source applications. Among the open source applications which the students and supervisors are familiar with, Moodle, Wiki, Facebook, Blog and Friendster. These are among the popular open source applications which can be effectively used for communication. In terms of percentage, we find that as far as Moodle is concerned, 70% of the supervisors survey mentioned that they use Moodle in their communication activity as compared to 42% of students. For the Facebook, unfortunately, we only have 2.3% of the supervisors survey provide positive comments compared to 72.5% of the students. Similar pattern goes for blog as well as Friendster. Now, this simple statistics as well as some of the evidences presented in this paper is actually a good reflective point for all of us. 
as far as ICT is concerned, we are ready for it. At least for the case of this particular survey. The students are ready, the supervisors are ready, they have favorable perception. As far as computer literacy is concerned, all of them are computer literate. This is an evidence based on their competency level on the use of computer when come to basic MS office application. What is lacking? When we revert back, we find that student supervisor communication can only become effective if both of them can speak the common language. When come to research, the common language is analysis. When we talk about, when we talk about analysis, what is the platform that has been used to do the analysis? If both the group of students and supervisors cannot share the common language, then even though there is high frequency of communication, the effectiveness of the communication can be questionable. So I would like to end my presentation here and open for questions. Thank you. Thank you, Prof. Naga. Uh, you've just heard Prof. Naga's uh, presentation of his team's research findings. Um, I now give uh, members of the floor to, to ask any questions. 